So I was looking through the Steam Summer Sale, and of course, since I'm cheap as hell, I scrolled right down to the big stuff. And as I scrolled, a certain game caught my eye. You know, I've always heard Kerbal Space Program was more of a game for smart people, and as a certified idiot, I wanted to put that to the test. So, here's how I made it to the moon in Kerbal Space Program as a complete noob. I started out not knowing what the hell I was doing. What the fuck is going on? What does that mean? I was literally just trying to figure out the UI and how to do anything at all. Somebody tell him to hit the fucking throttle. But eventually I'd figure out how to launch a ship, which of yeah. course ended catastrophically. <laughs> more than once. <laughs> but eventually I figured it out and I actually managed to land a ship. Then I'd keep doing it, you know, and I'd start hitting milestones. As I was hitting these milestones, I discovered that I was earning points called science. Got 13 of these science points. And somehow I mustered all of my brain power to figure I probably need to find a way to spend those. And so I sort of understood the basics of the game. Not really. Fuck. I still had no idea what I was doing. As I played, I started to learn how to progress better and how to get science more specifically. I started to use thermometers and barometers and the mystery goo. I start to fly higher out in the atmosphere and unlock the liquid fuel engines. This is also when I discover contracts, which would be great for upgrading facilities if I knew how to upgrade my facilities. So I was still under park constraints and stuff like that, but I'd learn in time. Of course, I still had no idea what the fuck I was doing. No! I didn't realize at the time that you could use Eva and crew reports to get free science. And you know, looking back, I probably should have been using Google. Of course, I was making steady progress nonetheless. This is when I actually started upgrading my facilities so that I could actually build good ships. Unfortunately, I didn't know how to build a good ship. But anyways, I... You're under arrest for crimes against humanity in ship form. Your awful fucking designs suck my fat ass. Here's a list of all your fucking crimes, you fucker. You put the fucking shield the wrong way for like half the time you've played the game. You've been stacking small fuel tanks for some fucking reason. You haven't been using struts. You've been having RCS on for no fucking reason. That's not even a ship thing, you're just stupid. You've been blocking the door to your cockpit for some reason, and you haven't been using the fucking snap button. What's wrong with you? But yeah, as I started to learn how to build ships, I'd go higher and higher, and actually, I'd start reaching orbit. Three years. So I ended up working my way up the research tree and making it to planes. I'm not so good at flying planes. Watch this maneuver. I want some Top Gun shit. Nor am I so good at building planes, I've learned. I'm not gonna lie to you, I still needed some practice with the planes. The landing was an issue. But regardless, I was able to use the planes to grind out some missions, which helped me get a lot of money to upgrade stuff, and also get more science so that I can research new parts. But what about the moon? On July 16th, 1969, NASA launched Apollo 11, aimed for the moon. At 1.44 p.m., 12 minutes after liftoff, Apollo 11 would enter Earth's orbit, orbiting the Earth about one and a half times before beginning their journey to the moon. On July 19th, after three days in space flight, Apollo 11 would enter lunar orbit. Soon, they would land on the surface of the moon, where Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin would become the first people to stand anywhere that's not Earth. After collecting several pounds of lunar samples, they would re-enter orbit, beginning their journey back to Earth. I want to do that. Well, at least the first half. I, I don't really care about the whole coming back part. I started without much of a plan. I didn't know how we actually made it between the planets, Fuck. and I didn't research at the time. So I kind of just thought you'd fly straight there, and uh, of course, that didn't work well. But I did go pretty far for a shitty strategy. It was kind of cool. So the plan is, we start by taking our ship, the GOAT, out of atmosphere. We do this using two big ol' rocket things, which we'll drop once they're done because they're really heavy. Then, after the first stage, we use our second rocket stage to enter orbit, which we will drop after it's done because it's really heavy. Next, we wait until the moon is in the perfect spot to land on. NASA scientists used math for this. I will eyeball it. Um... Uh-oh. Anyways, once it looks about right, we will accelerate using our third rocket stage in order to line our orbit up with the moon's, which we'll drop after it's done because it's really heavy. Then, once we enter the moon's orbit, we'll use our final rocket stage to decelerate and land on the moon. Can't be that hard, right? As excited as I was to get started, I knew I didn't have the right tools for the job. So first, I had to unlock heavy rocketry. So, I grinded some missions. 
this took uh, this took a while. Clearly, I need some practice with the planes because I had like maybe a one in five landing rate, and this sucked after one of those long missions where you gotta go fly out really far to take some atmospheric reading and come all the way back. She had me going crazy, huh? But eventually, I was done. So for designs, I started with something that looked like this. But that engine on the bottom burnt fuel too fast and didn't make it out of the atmosphere. So I figured I'd try a different engine. What about this one? Definitely not. You know, it's really starting to seem like all of these fucking engines suck. Wait a minute. The Pollux is an engineer's best friend. Is your rocket a little too low thrust to get off the pad efficiently? Put one on. Still not enough? Put on a pair. Try six of them if that's still not enough. Or, if you're feeling really crafty, you can launch your entire rocket with just these tried and true solid rocket motors. Holy fuck. So, after reading this, you may be wondering, what did I do? I PUT THE BITCHES ON! At first, I was really struggling. Turns out it's easier said than done to recreate one of the greatest scientific advancements in all of human history. On the first try, I was flying into space. On the second try, I was flung into space. On the third try, I actually made it to the moon, but I crashed. On the fourth try, I was flung into space. So, needless to say, this isn't gonna be a five minute plan. It literally took me days to get it right. I would spend hours sending ship after ship until I finally got it right. To explain the full story of my final launch, we gotta start from the very beginning. Alright, so first, I woke up. Just kidding, just kidding. First, I'd use my solid fuel rockets to exit the atmosphere. Then, once I was at the apex of my climb, around 200,000 meters, I would accelerate perpendicular to the surface of the Earth to enter orbit. Next, it was time to wait until the moon was in the perfect, mathematically correct- Yeah, it looks about right. And then, it was time to transfer orbits. So, I would begin to accelerate to push my orbit out on the other side to reach the moon in its path. Once it looked about right, I'd cut the engines and we're in for a little bit of a wait. You know, as we wait, I've been looking out into space and I've begun to think. Each and every dot in the speckled void is a galaxy. A new world unexplored intricate and unique. The beauty of this expanse also brings to the forefront the inconsequentiality of not only my own life, but of the lives of every person I have and haven't known. The daunting reality of human mortality is highlighted in a sky that our ancestors have bore witness to since the dawn of our existence. But don't forget to like, subscribe, and join the Discord. Hey, what do you know? We're like right there. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. We're getting a chance at it. Oh my god. And we're getting close. Is this- this is our number. I then proceeded to struggle for a few minutes. Oh. Thank fucking god. We're on the moon. We're on the fucking moon. We made it to the fucking moon! Finally, dude! Oh my god! One small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Now she's fucked. Here forever. But thanks for watching. A lot of fun making this video, and I do plan on making more on this game because I really enjoy it. Uh, tell me what you thought. Tell me everything I did wrong because there were a lot of things there that uh, could have been done better. But anyways, I had a great time. And I hope you guys had a great time watching.